In the newest version of Autopilot, there's been a great addition to the Draw tool. It is this tool here that looks like a pencil and says ABC. There are a few features in this tool. One is Begin Drawing. Now I'm going to do that now. You can draw your own pattern. So I could draw one similar to this. After I touch the Begin Drawing button, I'm drawing on the screen with my finger. You could also do this with your mouse. And then say Accept. And I have my drawing. If you select one of these patterns, it will show you many, many nodes that are adjustable. And when you are in this dialog, whichever pattern you select, it will show you the nodes. Now this is the editing feature that if you slide your bar down to the bottom, here in the edit function, there are several things that you can do. So this pattern, I could change in many ways. Also, on my pattern, I can change it in many ways. So you can see that the one that's purchased looks beautiful. The curves are smooth, it looks nice, but the one that I've drawn is a little bit jerky. And I'll click off it, you can see better. Um, this is how a hand-drawn pattern sometimes will look. And so I'm going to select that. There is a way to fix or adjust the pattern that you've created. So I'm going to say select all, which is all of this segment. I mean, all of this pattern. I could do just a portion of it. And here there's a slider. I can add more or less points in my preview. This will simplify. If I slide it to less points, I'll have fewer. And if I slide it here to more points, I will have more. Somewhere in the middle is probably what will be best. I'm going to say accept. All of these little jiggles in here have their own node. So I'm going to delete some points by selecting here, delete points. And I can go in here and delete and delete. And you'll see this will straighten out a little bit. And this is how you can begin editing the pattern that you have created by drawing. Another way you can edit is to add points. And wherever I select add point, wherever I put one, it will add a point there. Now, if neither one of those are selected, then with my mouse, when I select a point, I can move it. It has these handles that I can pull that will adjust the line. This point right here, I have two independent handles. I'm going to right click on that. You have some options here. You can make it an angled pattern, which makes it um, a corner. I can still pull those out. And this will be a sharp point. I can make it smooth, which will make it be curved. And the two sides move um, together and stay curved. And I can make it symmetric, which means when I pull this side out, that side will pull also. Whatever I do to one side will happen to the other. Now, if you're familiar with vector drawing, these are very similar to either your pen tool in Adobe Illustrator or a Bezier tool in Corel Draw. Um, they ha may have different names, but several programs use the same thing. So if I wanted to smooth this out, all I need to do is click on smoothing these angles. And I can adjust them. Maybe delete that one. I can right click and delete as well. So there are many ways that you can adjust that pattern and make it look more professional with nice smooth curves. So once you've learned how the draw tool works a little bit, you can do some pretty advanced drawing. Here, I'm going to show you a trick. If you right-click with your mouse, you can add image right here. 
And I'm going to browse to find an image that I have on my desktop. You'll have to know where you have it stored to be able to find it easily, or, and you'll also need to know what it's called. You can make it lighter or darker by changing the opacity here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I have this feather here. Now, with my draw tool over here, I can create using a line, an arc, or a spline. So I'm going to pick spline. That'll be a curved line. I'm going to say begin. And then with each click, I will be drawing a line. Now, I can come and change the line in a minute if I'm not happy with the curve. Now on this point, I may want to change it to be um, a straight line because it gives me a cusp. And then maybe I want to go back. Now I'm not going to do this whole thing. I'll just show you how once you have some of your points in here, This one should be a cusp. I can change it in a minute. So I'm going to say done, just for the sake of teaching. When I select that, I have these points here, and I can alter it by right-clicking. I don't want to delete. If you right-click on the, on the node, it will delete, but if you right-click on the actual segment. You can turn it to be what you want. I want a curve. There we go. These little round circles are my handles. So I click here and then I can change what I've got by pulling on these handles and I can make them follow what I have drawn. Now it takes some practice and you'll learn how they adjust. You can stretch these handles in and out. But with this drawing underneath, you can now design any pattern that you like. This one should be a, a curve, I think. So this one right here, because I did line, maybe it didn't give me exactly what I wanted, but this one here, I wanted a point. So play with it a little and you'll learn very quickly how to adjust your line, and then you stitch this as a pattern. So it's very simple to create your own by using the draw tool. Now I've added this photo, and I guessed at its size, but really in real life, if this was a picture of an actual quilt, which it isn't. This is a, a picture that I took from Whimsy Gardens uh, website. But let's pretend that this is a picture of the actual quilt that I want to quilt. I can put that picture underneath and now I can draw, I can create designs. You've already learned how to use the draw function and the create function. So over this photograph, I could create a pattern that looks really good for this particular block. So you can, I'm sure, see the potential that this draw tool combined with um, adding a photo gives you as you create your own designs.